Hello and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion on Nixus Gaming. In the last episode, we took some time to explore about half of the Imperial City. We got a quest from Umbacano to collect Aelid statues and sell them to him for extra money. And we also got a quest here in the Merchant District about a general goods merchant named Thoronir who has lower prices than anyone else in town and seems to be having issues with some of the other merchants. Now we were told to go to Jensine's good as new merchandise to uh, see what she has to do with him. Let's head on in. Feel free to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. I was afraid I lost any hope of new business ever since Thorinir opened up. All right. Well, uh, let's go through the other stuff first. Everyone comes to the big city to buy and sell. Why not? More stores, better selection, better prices. I know that Dovinorn is getting up there in years, but he still knows a bit about alteration. Let's see what you May sell I here. May you in some of my fine wares? Pretty nice two-handed blade. And looks like a bunch of general goods. All right, let's talk about Thorinir. So, Claudette sent you, huh? Well then, she usually sizes up people well. So you may be just what we're looking for. Start from the beginning. I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Not every store is a member, but we're slowly trying to convince them to join. Everything was fine until Thorinir opened his shop nearby. Selling all sorts of merchandise, he undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. He doesn't always sell what we sell, but it is still a problem. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. It's getting so bad, a few of us may have to close up shop. He outright refuses to join the society or even discuss the matter. We are convinced he's up to no good. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. Find some proof of his wrongdoing and let us know. We cannot do it ourselves, as he recognizes all of us. The job pays a fair bounty in gold when he is brought to justice. All right, well, uh, let's talk about inventory, I guess. His inventory must be stolen. It has to be. He prices less than it costs to make some of those things. Go see for yourself. And, uh, do you have anything else to say about him? I hope you're more successful uncovering his scheme than we've been. Not much. Okay. Thanks again for your help. We had no other place to turn. Alright, so let's see. That's going to be the quest we'll work on here. Alright, so... I should pay a visit to Thorinir at the Copious Coin Purse. Now, we met Thorinir last episode, and he seemed pretty, uh, pretty decent. He didn't have anything bad going on inside right away, at least. Here he is. What kind of deal can I make for you today? What about my inventory? Where do you well, get it? Uh, that would be a trade secret. I can't divulge how I pass the great savings on to you now, can I? Just like a baker not revealing his best recipes, I must keep my sources anonymous, or every merchant in town would use them. Suffice to say, they are quite reliable and low cost. That way, you walk out with a full coin purse. Alright, so that didn't tell us much. Goodbye. I should keep an eye on him and watch what he does after his shop closes. Okay, so let's, uh, let's head out. Let's wait here. Shops close at 8. I think shops close at 8. Oh, there he is. Hello again. 
So we gotta follow him around. How are you? And see where he goes. It looks like he's going into the next district here. Into the main palace district. And we haven't actually been in here yet. But I don't think there's going to be really anything to uh, find and look around at in here. So all we got to do is just kind of follow him and see where he's going. Hopefully he doesn't see us. His guards are probably wondering why I'm just sneaking around the palace. Behind this guy. But uh, they should mind their own business. Yeah, so one thing when you're sneaking around. You might want to take off like all of your all of your heavy stuff. Notice now that I'm walking around, I'm not hearing my armor clank around at all. Heavy armor has a negative impact on your sneak skill when you're sneaking around. So it definitely helps to take it all off when doing this. Now it's only saying that I'm not being seen whenever I'm completely still, which I don't like. Is he going into this area now? Looks like he's going into here. Which is the Arboretum, which we haven't been to here yet either. I'm going to avoid really exploring this place though until I actually circle around to it. So for now I'm just going to do this quest. Stopped. Does he see me? He's uh he's talking to that guy right now. I don't know if that's why he stopped or not. Hopefully he keeps moving after this. He's taking his time though talking to this guy. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's on the move again. Good. Good, good. So a funny thing, the last time I was in the Imperial City, before this game, before replaying it, was in Elder Scrolls Online, where everything is uh, completely destroyed and it's just a hell zone. So uh, this is very different from my recent memories of this game. He's talking to this person now. He, he likes to take his time, talk to everyone, I guess. I mean, I don't blame him. That's what I do. All right, there we go. Oh, he's coming back this way. What's he doing? Am I too close to him? Oh, there he goes. Okay, I might have been too close to him there. He stopped. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to see him go. Should head over to a new district at some point. Keeps stopping, and I'm really not sure why. I don't think I'm too close to him. Like, I'm way over here. He hasn't made any indication that he's seen me. Oh, he's walking this way now. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Hello. Where are you going, buddy? Coming around this way? Yeah, I think he's coming around this way. Maybe to go through that door there. Or... Oh, what's this? Where's he going here? Again, I don't think this is where I'm supposed to stop him at. 
He is definitely taking his time, though. Stopping wherever he feels like it. Good evening. Have you seen? The Can't even watch him from here. There he goes. He's walking away now. The best in the city when it comes to shields. Should be coming to the road here. Uh, he's not going to that door. Is he going back to the central area? Did he drop anything here? I don't think so. Okay. Going back that way. Yeah, back into the central palace area, it looks like. Okay. Follow him back this way. Let him uh, get some distance from us. And then keep following him. Longer. I want to say eventually he's going to go like into this little garden alleyway in between some of the houses. And that's where you catch him. I think. Really not sure though. All I can do for now is just follow him and hopefully, hopefully I'll get somewhere. Come on, where are you going? You're going that way now? Okay. I don't know where that door leads to. I guess we'll find out. He's got a guard following him now. Uh oh. All right, where does this lead? Speed. Back to the market district. Okay. What time is it? Twelve eleven. Okay, I think he gets to where he's going right around midnight. So yeah, he's going in between the houses here. Oh, there's a guy there. I don't want to mess this up. That you, Agamir? Oh. Shh, not so loud. How many times have I told you that? Sorry, I am not used to this kind of meeting. It always makes me nervous. Well, just shut up and listen to me. The next shipment will be sooner than I expected. Just have the money ready. Same assortment of things? I mean, I have enough clothing for now. You take what I get. I get notice at the last second, and I have to jump on it. No time to be picky about it. Well, that society is putting more pressure on me, so maybe we better cut back for a while. You cut back now, and I'm going to take my business elsewhere. Or maybe pay a visit to that Jen scene and tell her about your little scheme. Fine. You made your point. Contact me when you have the items, and we'll meet again. Don't worry. It'll be very soon. Now get out of here. I've observed a meeting between Thoronir and a mysterious man named Argamir. It's like my new target is Argamir. I should follow him and see where he goes. So we're following this guy now, and of course he's coming this way, no? Yeah. Hey guys. What's up? You totally didn't see me just standing there behind this bush staring at you? What fools? Oh, hi. It's Edgar. Alright, now where are you gonna go? I think I have an idea of where he goes. It's gonna stop at... Did, did, where, what? That's, what? I think he went through the door. He's gonna stop somewhere here in the, uh, palace area, if I remember right. I just don't know how long it takes him to reach his destination. Let's give him some space.
And uh, before we confront him, we're going to want to re-equip all our armor and stuff. Fair warning. Come on. Like I said, I don't know where he's stopping here and when. So all we got to do is just follow him until he gets there. Oh, he's going down the stairs here. Uh, he's going into another area. That's okay. Okay, the plaza district. Okay. A. A. B. C. He ain't gonna get the D, though. Nobody gets the D. All right. I've been looking for you. Who's been looking for me? Who who are you? Who's talking to me? I just heard a female voice saying they've been looking for me. But I don't see anyone. Okay. Uh is he leaving the city? Did he go this way? Okay, he's going this way. I have no idea where he's going. Like I said, I thought he stopped in the uh, palace area. But I guess I'm wrong. He went into... He has a house in the Talos Plaza. I should go inside when he's not around and investigate. Well, uh, he's very clearly going to be around right now. So let's wait... I guess until noon, the middle of the day. We'll see if that works. Hi there. Good to All see right. You. So it's unlocked. I'm going to quick save just in case he is here. Oh, he's home, and the door is barred from the inside. Okay, so it won't let us go in if he's home. Uh, let's just wait in two-hour increments, then. And hopefully he, he will leave at some point. Oh, oh, looks like he left. Let's uh, pick this while no one sees us. Get inside. Okay, what are we looking for here? What are we looking for? Let's go into his Basement, yeah. Oof. If I was hiding something, I would hide it in the basement. There we go. Let's see. He has bone meal. The place consists of an odd assortment of clothing and trinkets. Most disturbing is a dirty shovel and mud-encrusted boots tucked into the corner and the bits of ground bone meal strewn about. I suspect Argamir's stock he sells to Thorinir is taken from the recently dead. I should continue to search carefully for more solid evidence. Alright, well, uh, let's uh, keep searching around. Macabre Manifest... Details, names of the recently deceased, what they were buried with, and their locations. I should take it and confront Thorinir. Alright, well, uh, we'll definitely take that. And I think we should get out of here now, before he comes back. Alright. We got what we need. We need to go see Thorinir now. Who should be... At his, uh, 
place in the merchant district. Also, we're still completely naked. Hey, buddy. Speak. Just shove my balls in your face. Let's uh, go ahead and re-equip our stuff here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. And... Boom. Now, let's break that one first. Alright. So, it's going to be one more district over. Keep that jump up to upgrade our acrobatics. Hopefully, get a level up. I was kind of hoping I'd get a level up this episode. I know I think we're close to a level up. Let's see, we can check. Oh no, we're not even halfway to a level up. Okay. Probably won't be getting that then. Let's see. It's over here. Anytime now. Copious coin purse. Welcome back. Taken from the dead. I can't believe what I'm seeing in this book. I'm mortified to think these things here were once on the bodies of the recently deceased. It's just too horrible to comprehend. I don't even know what to say. I, I guess an apology is not enough. What can I do? Help me catch him. Yes, that's the least I can do. First and foremost, I will never meet with him again. I can promise you that. Secondly, I remember him mentioning a place he had to be this very day. Hmm, yes, that's right. He said that he wouldn't be able to do anything else, as he had something important to do. You don't think he would dig up another... Oh, no, he wouldn't. But I guess he has been. Oh, my. What have I done? What have you done indeed? Don't worry, I'll stop him. Yes, you do that. And in the meantime, I'll decide what to do with all these ill-gotten things. I'm so sorry. Bet you are. What do you have to say about your inventory now? I don't even want to look at it for another moment. Yeah, it's taken from the dead. I wouldn't want to look at it either. I hope everyone can forgive me for not doing a better job checking up on my sources. All right. So, uh, forgive me. let's head over to where he's supposed to be now. This is the part that I got confused. So, I thought he stopped in the, uh, palace Good district here. But no, the place that he's supposed to be is here in the palace district. So, it's gonna be on the opposite side here, of course. And, uh, like I said, you probably want to re-equip yourself before doing this. Slight spoiler. But, uh, just to be safe. Yeah, it's going to be right in here. Door to the Trentius family mausoleum has been unsealed. It must be Argamir's doing. Alright. I think we're going to want a quick save here, just in case. Pull out our sword. And let's go. He's attempting to desecrate another grave along with someone else. Can I convince him to stop? I had a feeling you'd catch on sooner or later. That's why I had this trap prepared for you. If you'll notice, the grave is already dug. This time, it wasn't to take something away from the graveyard. It was to add something. I'm afraid all I can offer you is an unmarked grave. Oh, no, there's no convincing him. Okay, um... Come on, guys. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to potion up here in a second. Oh, come on. I'm trying to kill his friends, but he's in the way here. 
Come on. Okay, there's his friend. Let's uh, heal up here. Potions. Potions. That's gonna have to work. Come on, hit me. Ow! Hit me again. Almost there. There we go. All right. Cool. All done there. Let's uh, let's loot a little bit. Our armor is in poor condition. Let's just take this guy's armor. Debaser. I think that's a unique sword. So we're definitely going to want that. Let's go ahead and take the keys. Never know if you'll need them later on. And a steel longsword. Definitely want that. Alright, so let's uh, change into the less damaged armor. Didn't have a new helmet for me, sadly. That's fine. Get our wrist irons back on. No, we have iron gauntlets now. Definitely want those. Sorry, wrist irons. Okay. So I think we'll probably sell our iron stuff because the steel is going to be better. And the debaser, I don't know what kind of sword that's supposed to be, but it does four damage. And it drains other stuff, so we'll probably keep that. We'll save that one for like bosses and stuff, I guess. But anyways, they're all dead now. You can look around. I don't think there's going to be too much to note around here. Yeah, no, nothing really. So let's uh, go ahead and leave. Looks like he locked the door so he couldn't get out. Are we talking to uh, Thorinir or Jinsin now? Oh, I should search the gravesite. Okay. Um, what am I searching for? Bone meal. His shovel. Okay. Bring it back to Thurinir. I mean, I guess he has a very distinct shovel that anyone can recognize as his shovel right away, maybe? I don't know. But we got it. That's all that matters. Alright, let's uh, move back around. Back to Thorinir. Let me look at this real quick. We got some experience from that. So I think this progress to next level only goes up if you level up your major skills. Any increase we get to, say, acrobatics isn't going to count towards the next level. I think that's how it works. So we want to fight stuff. Our build is based on fighting stuff. If we don't fight, we aren't going to level up. Alright, so over back to this side. I hate how it puts us on the opposite side, but oh well. Please show your respect for the Imperial Palace by keeping your voice down. Okay. I guess. Questions. Alright, and over to Thorinir. Were you able to stop Agamir? Yes, here's his shovel. Then we can at last rest. I feared had he somehow bested you, I'd be next. It is fortunate that your skills exceeded his. I've come to some decisions. I intend to donate all of the money I have made, as well as what is left of these stolen items, to the temple. I also want you to know that I had a long discussion with Jen Seen, and I have decided to join the society. I realize you risked your life to give me a chance, and Thorinir never forgets things like that. Accept this ring as a humble reward. It's the least I can do to say thank you. Now, don't be a stranger. The copious coin purse is still in business. 
All right, Weatherward Circlet. What about your inventory? I have disposed of all my ill-gotten merchandise and replaced it with more expensive but carefully obtained items. What can I interest you in? If you go in, he's going to be selling pretty much the same stuff as before, but it's now going to be at normal prices. So if you want to keep him like You've as a beefed up merchant, I won't forget that. Thank you. If you want to keep him as a beefed up merchant, you don't want to do his quest. Kind of weird, but that's how it works. Let's check out this uh, circlet. Okay, resistance. Does it take off our helmet? No? Oh, I think it's a ring. It's a ring. Okay. So I think you can wear two rings at once. So that's going to be nice. Keep that. And I think now we got to talk to Jensen and turn in this quest and make some money. Hi. So now we'll bounce on over to her good as new merchandise. I have been anxiously awaiting your return. I am pleased that Thorinair has decided to donate his inventory to the temple. At least he is trying to make amends. Wow, Palinaria is a tough negotiator. Hard to get her prices down. The very thought of what Agarmir was doing sickens me. I hope those poor souls rest in peace now that this is over. Well done! This shovel will certainly confirm Agarmir's crimes. Along with the manifest, it should prove useful to the City Watch. In your absence, Thornir visited, and we spoke at length about his role in this scheme. I believe him when he says he didn't know Agarmir's sources. He told me of his intentions to donate all of the money and inventory to the local temple. He also agreed to buy and sell merchandise at fair prices. Last but not least, he's officially joined the Society. I am taken aback by his honest intentions. In return, the Society has decided not to press charges. His name will be absconded from the records of this crime. Now, I'm sure you are waiting to hear about your reward. The Society thanks you for everything you have done. Please, take this gold. Many thanks on behalf of all of us. All right, and we get 100 gold for that. I'm mature enough to admit I was mistaken about Thorinair. He's a welcome member of our group in the Market District. Finishes up the quest for us as well. Let's see. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. You're a general merchant, see right? You like. So you'll I offer buy the finest goods and the lowest prices in anything. all Cyrodiil. Let's get rid of this iron. That's a You've got a great deal. And the there. broken iron stuff. Say goodbye to our wrist irons. I'm trying to think if we really need potions of sorcery. Let's bring that down to three. We'll keep three of those on hand. We're almost to that four thousand. Almost Another there. Satisfied customer. But not quite yet. It's been a pleasure doing business. Uh, we're gonna end off this episode How by uh, just going have? back through. Continuing where we left off last episode, just exploring the Imperial City. So next up, we're uh, going into the Arena District, which I'll probably just skip past for now. Did you? Hi. I think I'm going to end this session with all the Arena stuff, because it's kind of long, but it's fun and good. A good finale, you know. And I think that's the only thing of note here in the Arena District, the Arena. Makes sense. But, uh, let's continue on past it. You know, I can show, like, a small thing with it. You go in, and you talk to this guy, Hundolin. Hello there. Welcome to the arena. I don't think I've ever seen you around here before. I know all the regulars. Believe me. If you're looking to join the arena as a combatant, you need to head down to the Bloodworks and talk to Owen, the Blade Master. If you're here to bet on a fight, on the other hand, you're talking to the right man. 
There are matches all day long, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's a lot of chances to fill your purse with coin. So what do you say? You want to bet on a match? So, uh, yeah, you can actually join the arena if you go down the stairs, which that's what we'll be ending the session off with. Or you can bet on matches, so let's bet on a match. Ah, excellent. I knew you were the gambling type. Well, you can bet on the yellow team or the blue team. The teams are evenly matched, so you've pretty much got a 50-50 chance of winning. So, which team would you like to bet on? So, like he says, it doesn't really matter. It's a 50-50 chance. I'm going to bet on the blue team. All right, then. The blue team it is. How much do you want to bet? Um, I think we need about 200 gold. So, I'm going to risk it. Let's uh, bet 100 gold. All right, my friend. You've got 100 gold down on the blue team. Good luck and enjoy the match. Oh, and if you win... Come see me for your payout. Alright. And I believe we go up here to watch the match. Welcome, welcome to the arena, good citizens of the Empire. You came to watch a fight, and a fight you shall have. It's the blue team versus the yellow team in a battle to the death. So I don't know who's who. I think that's yellow team. Yeah, this is blue here. Come on, blue. Come on, blue. You can do it. Oh, come on. Throw your thing up. Block a little bit. Don't hit when the shield's up. Come on. That's right. Back up. Get your bearings. Oh, come on. Oh, that was a good hit. Good hit, blue. Oh, good hit. You've disarmed her. Oh, she's back up. Come on. Nice block. Come on, blue. Come on, you gotta wait till her shield's down. Oh, I can't see the match. I can't see the match. Yellow's got him backed up into a corner. We have a winner. Behold, a combatant from the blue team. If you bet on the blue team, see the gatekeeper to collect your winnings. Man. That was fun, right? Hey, give me my money. You won! Congratulations! Here are your winnings, my friend. 200 gold pieces. Come back and bet on the matches as often as you like. All right, so I think that actually sets us just under 4,000. Damn. Well, I'm not going to bet again. I'm not going to bet again. But uh, yeah, you can do that as much as you like. It's just a 50-50 chance. Gamble your money away. Win more if you want. But uh, I'm only, I only did it that once to show you guys. I'm not going to do it anymore. The next district on our list is the Arboretum. Which we actually popped into for a little bit. When we were following, uh, following Thorinir around. Don't think there's going to be too much to do here. In the way of like important houses and stuff. In fact, there aren't any houses or anything here in the Arboretum. So we'll probably just skip right through it. Over into the next district. Citizen? The Temple District. Now. If you remember. There was a quest I did. Where. All my luck. If I can find it. All my luck got zapped down to 5. And from what I read. The way you fix that is you do a cure disease potion, which I tried, and it didn't work. And the other way is to come to a chapel, say, in the temple district, the temple of the one. And you pray to an altar. Somehow. Can you pray here? Can you not pray here? Do I have to talk to you? Go ahead, please. How does one pray? Be seeing you. Um. I mean, it looks nice. I was gonna come here and uh, get rid of that luck defect, but uh, 
Now I'm confused. Okay, so after a very quick pause and a check online, apparently there isn't actually a altar you can pray at in the Temple of the One until after the main story. Which is kind of garbo. This is the, like, main capital's temple. Why can I not pray here? Greetings. Whatever. What That's kind of that? disappointing. I guess what next time... We're going to start exploring the temple district here and just uh, continue on through all of this. Uh, athletic skill increase. Why walk when you can run has always been your motto. Now the miles of running and hours of swimming have paid off, you are an apprentice of athletics. Your rate of fatigue regeneration when running is increased by 25%. Oh, that's cool. Now we aren't going to lose any fatigue when we're running around, which is really nice. That's really nice. But, uh, yeah. We're, uh, still just kind of exploring the Imperial City. Seeing what we can find. This is the last of the, uh, six inner districts here. There's not going to be anything in the Palace District. We're probably going to skip the Arcane University for now. Because that has a lot to do with the Mage's Guild, something I want to tackle later. And I don't think there's going to be anything in the prison for us either. So next episode, we'll probably check out the Temple District and head out to the waterfront where I know there is more stuff for us. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.